Hey, what is up guys? This is Zach, and today I have the Thunderbolt 3 TS3 Lite dock from CalDigit in for review. And something really interesting about this dock is basically it sets up a really, really clean front end for your setup, but a really functional back end for your setup with Thunderbolt 3 daisy chaining, 4K at 60, and basically everything else that you might need, including a display port and USB ports. So without further ado, I want to show you guys what's awesome about this dock and give you a little review. And so without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so let's start off with how this dock actually looks in your setup and really that's up to you because it's a pretty modular system and it's just a dock that you can pull wherever you want. Now the case is made from aluminum and the back and front are made from a matte black plastic which feel pretty strong. Now on the front, not only do you have a USB-C port for something like the CalDigit Tough Drive, but also a normal USB-A port for something like a USB SD card reader and I wish that they might have included a card reader on the front but this is pretty much just as good. Now this makes plugging something in just super easy and right where you need it. But the best part about this dock is that around back there are so many more options. Now you have DisplayPort which is enabled for 4K at 60 as well as two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one that has to be connected to your actual computer and the other for daisy chaining, but it can also be used to add another 4K by 60 port by using that USB-C adapter. There are also audio ports and USB ports. Now something that is really important with this dock and that a lot of people are going to find really useful is the fact that you can actually daisy chain the LG Ultrafine 5K monitor with this dock. So that means that you can plug in the dock to your computer over one cable, hide the dock away, and then also plug that monitor straight into the dock all over one cable, which is really, really, really awesome. But this Thunderbolt daisy chaining capability can also be used with something like a Thunderbolt RAID system or anything else like that that uses Thunderbolt 3. The thing that makes this dock really interesting is that when your setup gets really complicated, your day-to-day -day operation stays the exact same. All you have to do is plug in that Thunderbolt 3 cable and get to work. And that makes this dock really, really special because you can keep your initial connection simple while having up to two 4K displays, ethernet speakers, keyboard, mouse, and all of that just over one cable, which makes your life really, really easy, simple, and awesome. Now there is one thing about this dock that we do need to discuss and that's a little bit annoying and confusing to me and something that you should probably think about if you're a super power user. Now personally it hasn't hindered me, but the fact is this dock only gives you 15 watts of charging which is basically just a trickle charge. So if you need to edit a lot of video, if you need a game or do music production or something that's intensive on your computer, your computer will likely actually just lose battery when using this dock. And you can obviously just plug in another power adapter to another USB-C port, but you can't plug it into the dock. Now, personally, this isn't a problem for me because I take my computer out of the dock, I use it in bed, and then I charge it by my bed overnight, and then I'm pretty much fine by the morning. But some people might find this a problem. Some people might not have this problem at all. Now, CalDigit does supply a 0.5 meter cable with this dock, but to unlock the real full functionality that can be enabled with this dock, I would actually recommend upgrading to the one meter cable and kind of maybe hiding the dock behind your monitor or putting it in one of your drawers or something like that, and also using something like a Blue Lounge cable clip to keep that USB-C cable right on your desk. So all you see on your desk is one cable and all of your peripherals come in, plug it in, and call it a day. So if you get that one meter cable, you can keep your computer set up looking really, really clean, which is something that I really think is cool about this dock, is it enables you to keep your life pretty clean, keep it simple, even when it's not actually simple. Now, $199 does seem a little bit steep for this, but there aren't really any other docks in the market that do this, and if you weren't to get a dock, you still have to get those relatively pricey Thunderbolt 3 to 4K60 DisplayPort cables, 
and the USB-C hub and all of that and it ends up being around $100 depending on what you need. To me being able to clean up your setup and keep your functionality really simple, it's pretty much worth the $199 if you have the money to spend. So Amazon link will be in the description if you want to take a look at this dock. I definitely recommend it. But if you want a 85 watt charge or something more than that, then you could take a look at the full functionality TS3 dock, which should be out now if not coming out soon. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this review and maybe it helped you find out if this is the dock for you. If it is, let me know down below. If it's not, then keep on watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.